All right, if you guys are watching this video, there's a success story behind me taking this ramp and jumping over my car. called it out early in the channel that I would jump over this car, at least the hood. Before we risk damaging myself, my car, my scooter, and or the ramp, let's warm up on the ramp first without anything in front of it. Our spot selection today is going to be this street, mainly because the view is very empty, the road is very empty, and the street is very smooth. You have a little bit of a downhill that should help with speed, and I'm hoping that this little ramp can give me enough height to get over my car. And if I were to mess this thing up and crash into it, not only would I have to replace the parts of the dent scratch or anything I do damage, I also have to replace the wrap. All right, I'm feeling pretty warm, but I'm also feeling pretty anxious because of the anticipation of hoping to be able to get over this. So instead of just warming up and in the back of my head thinking, man, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. I'm gonna set it up and see what it looks like. A goal of mine is to obviously jump over the top, but before we do that, I'm just gonna warm up by putting the ramp right here, and we have these two lines that we can use as markers. The, the car is about the width of these lines, so this is gonna help judge to see how far we get. I think it's more about how high we get early and staying in the air long just because the car is wide. Go to GoPro and see how good we can jump. Put it a little further back just because I know that we have to get some height first. This part's gonna be the most difficult part and then just staying in the air for this long, which means we probably have to go fast. Just going this height is pretty easy. I can jump that high without the ramp, but I have to have enough hang time to clear over the car because if not, I'm gonna either hit this light or this side of the bumper or land on this side or this light or this side of the bumper and ruin my whole car. So the faster you go, the less time you're on the ramp, which means you have less time to make a mistake. And I think that's the hardest part. If this was just like a long bank, this would be easy. I can just jump over the hood first shot, but because the ramp is small, that's what makes it difficult. Well, I can definitely do it. If I just go a little faster, I don't know if anybody ever used a kicker ramp, depending on what kind of audience you are, if you're a scooter rider, skateboarder, or just a regular person into the videos that you're watching right now on the channel. But anytime we've used kicker ramps in the past where they're just right there, and they're not against anything, there's this back end fear that it's gonna move, that it's gonna slide. And I feel like the faster I go, the more prone it is to sliding, which it doesn't, this ramp is good, but it's just this, there's this discomfort you have from these ramps, riding them for over the years, this is the first good one. I think I'm just gonna move the ramp a little closer to the car and we gotta at least jump over the hood. I think doing the headlights is enough to kind of count that I went over the car. All right, real attempt number one, don't hit the car. Woo! 
Yes! <laughs> Finally! I hate that. Every time I actually put something in front of me, I jump higher. Such a mental game. For years, it's like, all right, someone tells you jump as high as you can, and then you jump, and then it's only so high, and then if someone puts an obstacle in front of you, then you could just jump higher than the obstacle, which was higher than you originally jumped without the obstacle. It makes no sense. The first real commit over this, I had more height than I did the entire time I was warming up, but uh, it's done. If there is a bigger ramp, I could probably do the glass. A little sketch to jump to the very top. If I can get better run up with a better ramp, and just that's really it. If I just had a better ramp, I can jump the top. I think that would be sick. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. But for now, I think that's enough adrenaline. Mission complete. We didn't ruin my car. And let's go get one last final flat session with the world's first trick.